All right, there's a big, big new buzzword out there in automotive paint care finishes, and that's ceramic. And ceramic's almost not even completely accurate. It's really silicon dioxide or SiO2 technology. So don't really think of that as an ingredient. It is the base technology that allows us to put in other ingredients that let us do really cool things. Basically, in a nutshell, it is the next generation in technology. The great thing about Carnuba is it's the hardest uh, naturally occurring wax that there is, which is why it got adapted to use as automotive paint protection. Uh, the downside is it's a natural ingredient, so it's not incredibly durable. The next generation of technology got us into synthetic polymer sealants, like our NXT Tech Wax and now our Ultimate Wax. And this gets away from using just Carnuba really as the protectant, and we go into synthetic polymers, which are just long chain molecules. And what they do is literally cross-link and bond to themselves, so they become a much more durable protection to the paint. Well, silicon dioxide, SiO2 technology, is a great huge leap forward in technology, even beyond synthetic polymers. And what the SiO2 does is it kind of acts as like a three-dimensional structure, but the cool part about it is what it allows us to add to it to create all kinds of different characteristics that give us even better protection. It actually allows you to create a much thicker layer of product than you ever could with a wax or synthetic sealant. And this is why we end up with these paint coatings that are, that are wiped on and allowed to flash. They're actually leaving behind a measurable thickness of product, and that's because of the chemistry behind this SiO2. If you melt this stuff down and then flash cool it, you get glass. And glass actually is what we call hydrophilic. It loves water, it attracts water. So water naturally lays on it in a sheet. But these coatings tend to bead water like crazy. I mean, the, the beads of water like kind of start to tuck under. They're almost like little ball bearings of water. The whole ceramic thing comes from the fact that SiO2, which by the way is most commonly found in quartz and sand, is really kind of the precursor to making ceramic and to making glass. What we did with it was to make hybrid ceramic wax. This uses that SiO2 technology as the base, and then it allows us to put in other ingredients that, well, make the application process a little unusual maybe, uh, but also to give us that incredible water beating and far greater durability than you'd get out of a carnauba wax or even a synthetic polymer. The carrier ingredients, in this case, the stuff that with a carnauba wax would dry and you'd wipe it off. In this case, the carrier ingredients love water. So when you rinse it away, they actually grab onto the water and rinse away with the water. The active ingredients try to get as far away from the water as they can, and they do a great job of grabbing on and attaching to the paint. And they do it like that.